farm. Had deer running all the fields. Seems this cold snap is kind of up and moving, which is a good thing. Hoping to push some of these bigger deer out of the lot. So I'm making my way down this cut valley and over to my tree stand. This was a beautiful morning that started off about 38 degrees. We rut. Decided to do, do some grunting. Had this small doe pop in. She passed the stand 10 or 12 times. She was definitely on high alert. Something was chasing her around. Something that we never did actually see. Mosey it around a little bit and then headed back into the cover of the woods. About this time, we decided to get back on the ground game and change things up a bit. So as I'm stalking my way down this field line, I see a nice herd of doe milling around. They're chasing each other in circles, licking the apple branches, the cherry orchard branches. Still no antlers. Made my way back into the stand and then bang, buck just not the buck I was wanting. Watched him tool around, decided where he wanted to go. As he made his way out to the open field, I'm thinking it's time to draw. And as I'm sitting there at full draw, I'm thinking this is not the one. Draw down. like today that all the time you put into the stand, all the time you put into the ground just doesn't go your way and it can be frustrating. You pass on decent animals in hopes of that bigger buck coming in, but at the end of the day the result just isn't what you hoped for. That's when you collect your thoughts and put yourself back together and you come back out another day. is what bow hunting is all about. Well, here we are again in the rain. We've got a cold front moving through. It's been relatively slow given the, the circumstances of the, the properties we hunt. This particular spot I'm in today is a very small area but it's got a nice water to trail transition and then trail to woods transition. Get a lot of deer up and down this trail. And uh, not so much in the daytime though, so I haven't been in this spot yet this year. But I'm gonna sit here for a little while and see if I uh, can't make something happen. See how 
see how close we can get this puck to come in. Maybe we might just take a shot. Take a walk. Punch our tag. our buck. So here we are in mid-Michigan. Not a monster buck, but a nice six point, big body. Made a nice humane kill. It's not always about the size of the deer you harvest, but the purpose you're out in the woods in the first place, and that's to promote hunting to the younger generations, promote humane harvesting. And uh, this animal will put, it'll put food in my kids' mouths, maybe help another friend out or family in the meantime as well. And uh, I'd like to thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity to harvest this buck. And uh, yeah, the season's early. We got a lot of hunting left to do. Yeah, stay tuned. AntlerAssassinsTV.com, AntlerAssassinsTV on Facebook, or AntlerAssassins underscore TV underscore Mike on Instagram. It's starting to rain, so we're gonna get this deer out of here, tagged, and back to the farm. <laughs>